Ashley Metzger is with the Desert Water Agency. Thanks so much for being here with us today. Yes, I'm really glad to be here. We're, we're talking not water necessarily today, in a, in a sense we are, but butterflies. Yes, so we're really proud because we just got this designation mm -hmm. as a monarch way station. What does that mean? So the monarch butterflies, when they travel, you know, they, they migrate, they okay. need places where they have some respite on their journey. Okay. So they can relax and rest and recuperate. And there are about 23,000 of these monarch way stations in North America. And there are about a dozen in the Coachella Valley. Okay. So, now, these weren't the, 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 I think it was painted ladies that were flying through the valley about a month right. ago. The different, the monarch are like beautiful. beautiful. They are. They're, they're much larger than the yeah. painted ladies and they're more rare. Okay. So we want to make sure that they have habitat and um, this will go up in our garden. And uh, basically the main ingredient you have to have to get one of these is milkweed because okay. that's where the queen and monarch butterflies lay their eggs. Okay, now do we have video or some yes, pictures of, actually, of milkweed that we can take a look at because this is what you would yes. want. Yes, so this is our garden. Those are some nectar plants which you want to have around the milkweed so that the butterflies have food as well. Okay. Um, that is the map of all the different uh, way stations here in the Coachella Valley. Some of them are businesses homes, uh, other government agencies. The milkweed is kind of that spindly plant you see in the front. And then I okay. brought another oh, photo. Oh, just the little, uh, the skinny one. Yes. Just the little spiky looking things. And it's called rush or desert milkweed. Okay. <laughs> and um, some people actually call it skeleton milkweed because like you said, it's yeah. very spindly. And but that's what they, what do they use this for? That is where they lay their eggs. Ah. Okay. And so it's a very important plant and um, we have it and it attracts those butterflies as they migrate. Something that people might want to do is plant some of this instead of grass if they want to be a little Absolutely. more desert uh, conscience. And that's where we get involved. Yeah. So we have this pollinator garden at our building which is where this Monarch Way Station is and it's for the purpose of uh, in encouraging people sure. to make this change on their own, perhaps taking out turf, grass, very water intensive, and putting in these plants, which use much less water, but at the same time, foster habitat for a very important species. And then if you want, maybe uh, you could apply and become a, a Monarch Way Station as well, or yes. can only government yes. organizations no, do this? No, monarchwatch.org. There are yeah. quite a few locally, cool. homeowners associations, some Airbnb locations. It's kind of cool. Yes, and ours is open to the public. So okay. if you ever want to go check it out and get some inspiration for this type of garden to do at your own property, you can come down to Desert Water Agency. Uh, we're on Dinah Shore at and Gene Autry, 1200 South Gene Autry Trail. Okay. And it's open 24 7, 365. Come in and take a look and get some inspiration and, and create a habitat of your own. Yeah, sounds good. Good information and uh, thanks for sharing with us today. And again, you can have your own Monarch Way Station in your yard as well. Thanks for being here with us.